Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. <laughs> Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Hello everyone, Bubble Ninja 720 here bringing you part 3 of my playthrough for Telltales The Walking Dead Season 2. When we last left off, we met Walter and his little entourage. We got to relink up with Ken Kenny, Ken Meister, and then promptly got caught by Carver. Unfortunately, Walter and Matthew are both dead. Alvin almost died. And now we're stuck with a psycho and his entourage. Without any more let up, let's go ahead and get going. Updating content? It should be updated. Oh, it doesn't look good. In Harm's Way. Chapter 3. Or Episode 3. Hey, hey, looks like my headset for live streaming is nice and charged. So that way, next live stream won't have an issue like last time. <laughs> uh. Any day now. Load it up. Excuse me. Previously on The Walking Dead. Uh, here we go. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Yeah. Remember Rebecca, what I said about the AKs. Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. Oh, he actually he didn't say that. And I didn't do that either. We're going home. As a family. Actually, the first time around, I remember now, I, I went to go protect Alvin and got my gut punched in. I probably should have done that one. I don't know why I changed it up to yelling out Kenny and Luke's names. Should have done that. No, oh, the moth. You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. Yep. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> The hell? Everything come out all right, girls? What an idiot. Troy, get him tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? 
I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? And what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. It caused trouble. People got hurt because of that stupid thing. People died. Well, if you try and take this one, honey, I'll hurt you myself. Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. That is different. I had a dick and I kept staring at him. Ian. What happened to your rifle, dude? Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! Then can he jump into conclusions? In harm's way, episode three. Surprised they'd make Rebecca sit in the back. All right, we got to do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? Took you long enough to start up. We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp, anything that can help. A fucking, I don't know, anything. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no God, idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, <laughs> that phrasing. you can't reason with it. Oh shit, jackpot. Sit down, you're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny's right. We have to do, we something. Have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. I don't, you don't think know so. that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Can he please calm down? Please. I'm calm, Sarita. I look angry to you. Luke will help us. Oh, yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Hey, look, Clem. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. 
What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna huh. punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, <laughs> but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him, what he's capable of. I'm a deflect. I, I'm, I'm scared, a deflect. Kenny. Okay, um, that's okay, that's okay. All right. Everybody run. Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? Knocked himself out. I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. <laughs> I'm gonna deflect because I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to walk the straight and narrow. I'm not trying to uh, pick sides too much. Plus, she's a little kid. She's not gonna be completely um, like in one direction kind of thing. She's gonna be kind of scared when people, especially the adults, start yelling at each other. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and out. Oh shit. Fuck! It's Tavia. How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, she's from four hundred days as well. Some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient. Got a lot of food, supplies. Take solace in knowing that. They're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, and they're all valid. No one needs to forgive they them. They got power, they too. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. They do have a lot of food. No large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on. We need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. So I've seen two people from 400 days already. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project will move forward. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can save you if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light. Got me in trouble. Bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Richie! <gasps> oh shit, he's missing an arm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, what did Reggie. they do to you? This could have been worse. Trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This <laughs> happened well after you guys left. I guess I should. Say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to. But then he fell, and everybody kept running. I knew oh. he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. 
If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. No. I'll be fine. You're going to be a uh, human hamburger. Let's see what he wants. We saw the preview. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Yeah, Troy the dick. I bet she's just saying that to Reggie just so he uh, complies. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. <clears throat> we were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh, hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Didn't make it. Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up. Barely scar there. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work <laughs> outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just uh, joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. It's probably huh. bullshit. Who's she? It is bullshit. Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's <laughs> probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even mostly got the solar panels labor. working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? We had no, a generator. We just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. It was a competition Look, until I've he got trumped. Mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. His reason mm -hmm. is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Mm. No, Reggie, really. I don't want a second chance. <clears throat> I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. No, Alvin's already getting the shit knocked I need to out of sit him. Down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. <laughs> Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. Yeah, I true. think he's just scared. 
Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Huh. Keeping him busy. Sit chatting with him. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep. I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking. There's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Huh. Can't believe you survived. I can't either, honestly. But Mike killed the walker, then took off the arm really I'm quick. I'm trying to be good. Huh. What? Reggie asked me to be good, so I'm being good. I don't want him to get in trouble. I'll talk to you later. I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you going to do? I didn't <laughs> treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time. I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't remember. I'm sure he knows. In his heart, I'm sure he knows. I hope that's true. All right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. I only check it up on you because there was a prompt. Who's this? Oh, it's Nick. So how did you end up with a Hey Clown. Nick Kenny. Just thinking about Lou. No, Just it's okay. it's not there's no way family. he's gone. Well, my first that he left. US, how about it? Because me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. Yeah. Yeah, he's still out there. You watch. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should, too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. There ass uh Kenny was asking Reggie why he has the mm, name Reggie. Looks rickety. Even though he's supposed to be I guess Middle Eastern or Indian, something like that. Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. Let's talk with the woman. Is she gonna be nice or angry? No. She's got death glare. What is this? <laughs> Looks like a fountain topper. Let's talk to Mike. Hello? Get lost. Get lost. Well, I get. Lame sauce. Talk to Kenny. Well, out with it. Do you see any way out of here? Not really. Damn. I was hoping you'd catch something these old eyes missed. They're getting more and more useless. Oh, I didn't even look. Dad! All right, go the fuck to sleep. I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Troy, where's Alvin? Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. Yeah. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. Technically, we'll I didn't get Reggie in trouble because I didn't look at everything. Looking at everything gets Reggie kind of perturbed. So 
So hmm, maybe he'll be a lot nicer than me then. What? Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Why didn't they wake me up? Sit there and let Clem get kicked. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Yeah. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must realize be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be we'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay, the walls. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Michael will continue oh, on God. showing his value. Nice finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no, that ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think huh. twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Oof. Do it. <laughs> Jesus, that's more like a fucking haymaker. I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. I wonder what Rebecca will be doing armory. for work. Follow me. Armory? Easy. Oh, yeah. God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Armory, it means I get to play with bullets and stuff. Sharp pointy objects. Who is this? She's one of the new oh, people. Shit. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. There's two more people. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. 
We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. Hmm. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. No shit on both fronts. But now folks are dead. On three fronts. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. You are. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. It was just a bad situation. That got worse. A lot of people are to blame. That's big of you, but I know what I've done. But I wanted you to know I regret it wasn't my all her fault. This. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. No, you can offer more. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... <laughs> probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. I Ain't was nothing supposed tough to go. looking about you at all. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food, and Bill, he he wasn't always like this. Why didn't you leave? I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. Of course you did. That's your character. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. And there's something to that. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. Mm -hmm. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Well, of yeah, course she should be down here. there. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow I'm trying me. to give Come a on. mixture of giving her a guilt trip but also placating her. Try and mosey her over to my side. Can't push too much, otherwise it just completely regress. Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. I hear uh, Sarah crying. Hey. You want a hug? 
Okay, well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know what's coming though, but I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. Yeah. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Well, you're different. That's the thing. Reggie! Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Davia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Mm hmm Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. <laughs> Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. <laughs> that was awkward. I won't do that again. <laughs> I like Reggie. I'm gonna go work now. He's a nut job, but he's uh, he's just good comedy comedic relief. I guess those are blueberries. Those are some tiny, tiny plants. I'll help Sarah. Hey. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Uh-oh. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, so... shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We Time's just... up, Reggie. You had a task, and you didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. Uh, we talked about good. this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. Yeah, this is rough. What's wrong, Sarah? Are 
you okay? I no, gave you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Ugh. I have a sneaking suspicion that Carver didn't have any inkling of bringing Reggie back into the fold. He was waiting for one petty excuse to go and off him, which is what he just got. Time they tell Bonnie the truth, if I oh, can. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? You. you look like you've seen a ghost. Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe. Maybe it was just an accident. Ah, stop fucking shitting yourself. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Yeah, you're gonna get some great A bullshit. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. I guess you can't save Reggie, but also it's a good thing that he landed on his head so he doesn't come back. I know that sounds cold, but the fate worse than death is coming back as a walker and hurting your loved ones. Nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Get off me. You're one of them, aren't you? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Who did you... Oh shit. Shit! Fuck! Grab something! Oh, you got a hammer. The go to grabber. I got a two by four? That's not good. <laughs> whack a zombie. Or whack a walker. Waka waka waka. Go, go, go. I'm gonna get stuck. Uh, push, 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 square, and nice. Not great. Now I got three. Watch where you're walking. Sledge. There you go. Maybe it'll trip on the other two. That's not a good thing. Uh, oh, is that gonna get me? Nope. You ain't gonna get me. Ah, uh, shit! I'm losing! My thumbs! Nice. Good God. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Surprised she didn't get any blood on her. Oh, thank God. You're okay. 
All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Those are some really rickety walls they got going there. Oh. That's Luke. Ah, ah, stop! Hey, it's me! Luke! Yes! Man, bit the hell out of me. Oh no, he's infected. Blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I'll give him a hug. I was worried. We all were. No, it's good to see you too, kid. It looks a little rough. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. That was Troy. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. He said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get y'all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. They plugged up all the holes we used when we got out. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. No, okay, you're sleep deprived and it probably starving dangerous. too and dehydrated. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke? Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. Mm. And I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We, we gotta plan. That radio was crucial to that. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time. Yeah, but if really I ain't, pale. just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, Clementine, uh... get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was from hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Ugh. Oh shit. Another one. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't <laughs> like to wait. So, you should probably go. Wyatt, that was the name. And then the girls were Becca and uh Rebecca. I forgot the other girl. This little sister was Becca. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. And I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Still got blood on your cap. Oh. Cap. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. 
I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. Is he gonna eat an apple? You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, uh, Reggie you put us at that. risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I, I realized help. it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're going to get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really not the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard yeah, on trials its way, daylight. and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Huh. Yeah, I'm definitely making different decisions than what I had done before. I'm not recognizing some of these dialogues. Now, also, be it, it's been years since the last time I played, but... Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Okay, okay, sorry. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's oh, right. I miss Molly. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I no, I'm just happy to see you. The radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are fuel on the roof. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. 
She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't nuts. change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. He did look pretty rough. You guys should take a look in the mirror sometime. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that ha. turd radio. He keeps us posted on the <laughs> herd's movement. Turd. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. <laughs> First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. <laughs> Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know. Unless they leave, figured about. it out. This is nuts. No, it's not. It's perfect. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? Ah, uh, this is gonna be You just rough. need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing <laughs> breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We got to get that rope down. Mike, you want to boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Yoink. They're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They What's see that in your bunk. We're all done. Shh, right. He's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Ouch. There was barbed wire there. It's like, oh, Jesus. We're in trouble. Good thing I stayed low and quiet so they don't notice that I'm gone. Man, you're not going to believe what I'm looking at. There's got to be two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but... Oh, they dragged his body off. Up. So you're not sure? What, about how many there are? 
Yeah. How can I be? Locked. Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Don't catch me. Oh, there's Carver. Well, is there another skylight over here? Mission Impossible music. Oh, there's some radios. Oh, that guy's gone. Oh, now Tavia's there. Yeah. You think Bill... Go on. Nah, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. No. Nope. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. Yep. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't Ooh. figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give yeah, you that Yeah, it is. One. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. Prisoners. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Ah, oh, hell yeah, you. Vince. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just going to tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince. Vince, come on. Vince. Whew. We're missing at least one person. Where's uh, that one guy? You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. Like We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? <clears throat> Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. You little devil. Everybody stay where you are. No need drawn suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Anyway, get some rest. Trying to. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles, 
Every damn place he went, he just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Eh. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. So the only time Duck really fucked up is when he got um, Herschel's son killed. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. <clears throat> the next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Watches them. Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Yeah, that's the guy on the roof, on the right. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no offense. Come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would... There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone <laughs> to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? <laughs> Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. I heard you, okay? Good. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Oh, let's go. <laughs> That's very close. I mean, the the radio antenna is still visible. Jesus Christ. Hey, she's with me. Oh shit! I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Jesus. Wait, wait. What's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, City Mouse. City Mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. What? What are we doing? Don't worry about it. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured mm. even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter of fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And mm -hmm. that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. Mm -hmm. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I don't know. You have I a really bad track record. When I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. You can trust me. Fine. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine, 
And all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles, okay? Well, what are you waiting for? Nope. Now to sneak around. Oh shit, look who it is. You should get going. Bill don't like idle hands. <laughs> that's all of them now. I think that's all of them. I wish I remembered all their names. That means it's keeping my save file at least. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Fluke? Fluke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. Luke, where is he? How I should have shut that the door. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Oh fuck. You ain't supposed to be out here. You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Hmm. This don't look good. This don't look good at all. I probably should have checked further. Get over oh shit, there. it's Luke already. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then... We'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. Oh, shit. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No! Oh, God! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody Oof. stop him! Troy, do Let something! Stop! Clementine, help me! You don't have to do this, Bill! <sighs> no! Stop it! Kenny! <laughs> Kenny! Oh! Shit. Bill! Oh. That's enough, Bill! Please! Bill, there's a breach! All right, everyone come with me. Bonnie, you stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah, okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move. 
Because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. Huh. So it took a death, a near death, and a child being beat. Well, two near deaths and a child being beat in order for Bonnie to turn sides. Uh, oh. Dang it. Oh, is that another death? What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. Why isn't it great? Because most of us are beat to shit or pregnant. And besides that, it's risky as hell. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but yeah. now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Tonight. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we got to be sensible about this. This is being sensible. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. You don't want him sleeping, I don't think. This is what I'm talking about. We're in no shape to go now. Is he gonna be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. Oh, no! no do that. There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. We are not leaving him. No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best yeah. of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because he won't have to. I'm all right, huh? We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, Jeez. old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? Now you're patches. You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? So don't go blaming yourself. I'll give him a hug. It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hey, hell PA. out of here. Like now, now. Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we got to make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we huh. escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, Good. at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. <laughs> Clem. 
And all the adults look to the child. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? I'm gonna need a boost. Boost me up. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. I'll repeat it. Down into the office. Outdoor speaker switch. Turn on PA. Up to the roof. Down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. Nice clip. Uh, nice clip notes, Clem. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> well, she still got dried Make blood sure in her you face. Bring Alvin. Uh, Alvin's got the tar knocked out of him, and he's a heavy guy. Didn't even bother to check. Alvin. Oh, please tell me he's not zombie. Alvin, are are you okay? He's not moving. Yeah, he, he at least Carver's got the sense to put plastic wrap down before he knocks the shit out of someone. So you got a decanter for whiskey and stuff up there too. Okay, now the mic. Do. What? What's wrong? No music. No, 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 no. No, where are they? Right there. Come on, come on. Please work. There you your go. backyard barbecue is complete with house full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Oh shit. Okay. Not dead yet. Alvin! Are are you okay? Oops. Carver talks all the tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. <laughs> There's something funny about that. You have the project. We have the know-how. Oh. How? Come on. We have to go. I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No. We're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. I've, I've run out of road. Oh. Let's... No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Hmm. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> Ugh. That's one casualty. From charcoal briquettes to propane tanks, house has all you need to make your day special. No oh, jeez. This week only, Kennedy. Good thing she's staring at that. How's that for a deal? You want to disrespect me? Fine. 
You wanna throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You wanna run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. It's not yours. You don't fucking know that. And until we do, you're not going anywhere. Oh shit, he's on. <gasps> oh. I was trying to see how much he would say. Damn it, I hit the button too. Fuck you, Carver. Ah. Oh. I hit the button right before he turned the fuck around. It should have registered. Come on. Load it back up. <sighs> You want to disrespect me, fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. I ain't waiting this time. This dog you guys shit hear what happened. Crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you. Wham. Get there you back. go. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Um... I didn't get Alvin. my choice. Okay. Rebecca, I am... Oh, God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. I'm just gonna be quiet. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yep. There you go. Cripple him. Oh, that's rough. Oh, he's gonna give a Jason. Was it Jason Go Todd? On and wait outside. Yeah, he's gonna give him a Jason Todd. We have to go. Can you please? I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. I don't want nothing to do with this. We don't have time for this. I'm making time. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. He needs to die, yeah. Just shoot him and get it over with. That's already right. wasted two bullets. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Fucking big man, huh? Let's go. I'll go with Sarita. Oh, come on, Clementine. Don't be like that. Don't run away. You know you want to see the show. Who do you think you're fooling, huh? I know you. I know who you are. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. <laughs> It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should have put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. Oh. That 
that's not the Kenny I know in there. I wish... I thought... I could save him. Nah, yeah. nah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Come on, we got enough to worry about. Man, we're never gonna make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Yeah, I know, right? Shit. I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need some. Nice. Thanks. I hit it. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, goodness. Do it quick. We need to get covered before the rest of them get close or we're fucked. This isn't gonna work. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. Ugh. Okay, now you. Hey, you're back. It smells gross. Oh, shit. Everybody, shut the fuck be up. Okay, be honey. Covered. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you no safe. No in your mouth or any open cuts. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. Good. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? Oh shit, what is Troy. This sick shit. Someone say something before I start. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you. You hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did, but now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here, together. <laughs> Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on. Don't make any noise, got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. She just made a decoy out of him. I need more ammo. We got this, y'all. Mm -hmm. Is that taken? Oh jeez, now they're up. shooting as well. Shh. It'll be okay. Don't run. Gotta watch Sarah. Quiet, honey. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Clementine. Oh shit. Dad! Oh. Carlos. Oh shit. I lost the axe. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh shit.
That's not a good ending. You know, that's the ending of this part. Yep, next time on The Walking Dead. Hmm. Sarah's glasses. Not much of them left. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Oof. You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Sweep the leg. Not now. Not now, damn it. Uh-oh. Damn it, where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. Uh, that's a very um, interesting s phrase to end with. Compassion helped Sarah with her chores. You and 54.5% of players helped Sarah. I think it'd be kind of dickish just to do my own job. Even though Sarah is extremely coddled, she also has some psychological issues. Uh, she's, uh, she's a difficult case to take care of. Trust told Bonnie about Luke. You and 36.5% of players told Bonnie that Luke contact contacted you. Yeah, I could understand that. Bonnie is a real spineless um, person. She's very dependent on quote unquote strong characters. And unfortunately, it causes her to be on the wrong side of things a lot for her to not be very trustworthy. But she helped out in this case. Selflessness admitted to stealing the walkie talkie. You and 66.7% of players tried to hide the theft. Huh? Hide it? I admitted. It wasn't my fault that Kenny jumped up in front of me. That's weird. I say that's, uh, that's dirty dice there. Vengeance. Watched Kenny kill Carver. You have 51.4% of players left with Sarita. Uh, nah, I'd rather not watch someone bash their brains in. I think if Clementine should be shielded in terms of a good way. But, scumbag playthrough. I will be sure to watch it then. Risk. Chopped off Sarita's arm. You have 43.1% of players killed the zombie that bit Sarita. The last time I played through this, I chopped Sarita's hand off at the wrist to try and save her via, you know, um, basically amputation so she didn't, the infection wouldn't spread. Unfortunately, it backfires. If you, f if you chop her hand off, she screams and she immediately gets completely devoured by walkers right then and there. I don't know what happened to this one because I haven't tried just killing the walker, so... We'll see how that goes. <sighs> Rough and tumble. A lot of people died. That was a huge body count. And we got a very low point going for us. But anyways, thank you all for watching. This has been part three of my playthrough for the Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 2. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. Keep up the content. Comment down below and tell me what you think about the game and my gameplay. Though no spoilers, please. And also tell me what you would have done for your choices. I like some details. Give me the deets. But anyways, I'll catch you in part four. See you then. Later. Space and move mountains to shadow falls. Memories of darkness obstruct the view in the night. A foothold will lead you along blood.
but it's a crazy love.